This video was made possible by the Content Creator Program. An MCOC champion is temporarily granted to select accounts for the purpose of allowing the community a first look at a new champion coming to the contest. All granted champions are removed from accounts before they are officially released to the community. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look, a first look at Man-Thing. He was granted to me temporarily so that I could show you guys a little bit about him and some gameplay. So let's take a look here. And this is only a rank three, five star. Let's take a look at his synergies first. And uh, this is the first time that I'm looking at him as well. So if he's struck by a basic attack while under the effect of an unstoppable buff, 100% chance to gain an indestructible buff lasting 0.5 seconds. All right, and see agitation starts in and will never fall below 50 uh, versus a villain, someone with hashtag villain. Okay, well time blocks, grant a fury buff, increasing its attack by 25% of its base attack for 1.5 seconds. This fury doesn't stack. Now that could be interesting, especially since I like thing. And this one, well time blocks will inflict a poison debuff, dealing 25% of its attack as damage over 5 seconds. Huh. Very, very interesting. All right, let's uh, take a look at his abilities here. Now, I don't know anything about Man Thing. I didn't read him in the comics or anything like that. Uh, I've heard people say he should be extra large. Uh, they feel like Kabam rushed this one, but. Uh, I don't know anything about that, so we're just going to look here. Signature ability, if he's at or above 50% health, 100% chance to trigger a fury buff, increasing his attack. Okay. So, basically, more damage. Uh, if he's below 50%, 100% chance to trigger a regeneration buff. So, he's got a little bit of sustainability. That's not bad. That seems pretty interesting. All right. See, let's see. All right, so he's immune to armor break or shatter. You guys remember uh, this is something new. They're being separated, or they have been separated, and he's immune to both of them uh, and prevents critical hits from dealing bonus damage. So he's going to not only be able to regen when he's below 50% if he's awakened, but he's also going to be taking less damage. Um, I wonder if that's similar to the glancing ability. It looks like they can crit. It doesn't prevent their criticals, but it just prevents the damage, the extra damage from the critical. So I don't know how that compares to uh, glancing. And uh, his lack of blood, so he's immune to bleed. So that's actually quite nice. Um, he reacts to powerful emotions, he gains that agitation uh, when struck by any attack, and when hitting a buffed opponent with a medium attack up to a maximum of 100. Okay. Um, as his agitation grows, so does his attack. Okay, so he's doing more damage over time, up to 100. Seems very similar to like Star-Lord, Aegon, you know, those type of ramp-up champions. All right, and let's see, grows, okay, we got that. Uh, it falls off over time, okay, falling off faster, all right. Uh, now, if he's going up against a villain, or they have an active buff, he's going to wait five seconds after each increase before it begins to fall out, fall off. So that just means he's going to have them longer when he goes up against villains. So he's going to be doing uh, more damage, his ramp up, He's going to stay with that damage longer than if he's fighting someone who's not a villain. Okay, each time Man-Thing makes contact, it has up to a 50% chance, based on his current agitation, to nullify a buff off the opponent. So that could be useful. Uh, that reminds me of Scarlet Witch, uh, where she can nullify on contact. And I can't remember, I think there's some others that do that, but... She's the first one that I remember. Okay, so any buff other than a toxic 
um, Pustul nullified on the opponent has a hundred percent chance to become okay I'm not sure what that is I don't know what it does yet let's see whenever it's nullified okay all right so uh, it has a chance to burst when it's nullified and becomes a poison and an armor break debuff okay so it's just a step a means to an end it's got to be burst it's got to be uh, nullified to be burst all right so uh, and then it tells you the poison debuff does damage of course and reduces regeneration by 30 percent uh archangel each of his poisons do a reduction by 30 percent but he can stack them all right um don't know i'm looking here to see if you can stack those i'm not sure just yet uh the armor break debuff reduces the armor okay now, 15 seconds is a long time in a battle, let me tell you. Okay, while he's charging his attack, his heavy attack, he gains an unstoppable. Ooh, nice. Similar to a kingpin. So that means that he's going to get that heavy off more than likely, right? I like it. All right, and what does his heavy attacks do? They nullify those toxic Pustul buffs. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but that's how I'm going to say it. Um, so armor break and poison debuffs caused by bursting uh, with this ability have a 50%. Okay. So he can nullify them on, you know, his hit based on the agitation. Or he can do a heavy attack. That also reminds me of Iceman. A similar uh, mechanic because Iceman, he can explode those... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, not the cold snap, but his uh, uh, ice charges or whatever they're called. And when he fires off his heavy, then he can uh, explode them instantly. All right, let's see. Special attacks. Okay, when he's activating one, 100% chance to place that buff on them. Okay. 100% chance on contact. All right, so special one. Special two will nullify up to two buffs per hit. Nice. And his special three will grant a fury for 30 seconds based on agitation when you fire the special three off. So it looks like uh, you want to build up his agitation, max of 100, it said. Fire off the special three and you'll get a fury buff at max potency. All right, it also places a poison debuff on the opponent okay how much damage based on the agitation over 20 seconds wow uh, also reducing all the healing very interesting might be interesting uh to see how he does against healing opponents and the special three has a chance uh 100 chance to place uh two of those buffs on the opponent lasting 15 seconds okay okay uh, so let's go ahead and get him in there. We're going to go into Realm of Legends, of course, and check him out. Edit that team. Redo it. Now, I do want to see that I like that um, synergy, so I want to play around with that one. And there was another one that I wanted to test out. Uh, let's see. Nope, nope. Not that one. This one. I don't have a King Groot as a five star, but what have you. All right. We're just going to go in with that. And let's check out his animations. Look at a little bit of his damage. And, uh,. See how he feels. See how his uh, animations, whether they're as smooth as Obsidian Maw. Okay, so there goes that poison from the uh, synergy. Okay. Let's fire off this special one, see what that looks like. <laughs> okay, so not impressed with his special one. So you that right there. All right, so 
I'm seeing those uh, debuffs on them. Probably should have uh, fired off a heavy attack, but we'll do that later. Okay, fire off this special two. Okay, a little bit better, but compared to the animations that we've been seeing, like with Black Widow, uh, Clairvoyant, with Warlock, yeah, I'm, I'm not too impressed here. Uh, and I'm looking at his damage. Now, I'm probably not doing him justice in terms of the best way to play him to maximize his damage, but... All right, let's fire off the special three. Okay, that looked painful. Now, I'm gonna fire up the heavy as soon as I can get a parry. There we go. All right, there you go. So you see they all burst. We've got three armor breaks and three poisons. All right. Fire off another one of these cheesy special ones. Whoops. Come on. Break it. All right. Okay. I see the uh, Furies that we've stacked up, but honestly, his damage doesn't impress me all that much, but get one of these on him but I could see where he would be not too bad against um, healers I can see that okay yeah we're not going to uh, go for a full, full kill here I think I've shown you everything that I wanted to here just get another special three now that special three reminds me of a comic episode I think it was the blob uh, in the comics I think spider-man and black cat were fighting him I think it was spider-man punched him and he went right on in there like that and then couldn't get his hand out for all his strength but that's what that reminded me of all right, so we got three of those again. Boom. Okay. And we've got like... Is that 30 uh, Furies? But he's still not really doing a lot of damage. So, yeah, not, not too impressed so far. But then again, perhaps later, we'll find out, you know, how to make the most of his damage. Maybe he needs synergies, maybe uh, with the right rotation, which I'm not thinking what that could be right now. Uh, he'll do better. But, all right, so that's going to do it. Uh, I'll give you my final thoughts on him uh, at the end of the video. Okay, so... My final thoughts on Man-Thing, uh, honestly, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed at all. Uh, normally, I, I try to do the uh, pros and cons. Uh, he does put those armor breaks on, so any one that you need to fight that's affected by armor breaks, like maybe Killmonger, uh, he's great for that. Um, if you have the Despair Mastery, he's uh, good against healers. But I went up against uh, Wolverine in Realm of Legends, I was running suicides, so spamming the special two to keep up the armor breaks and the poisons wasn't really that feasible. Uh, but if you're not running suicides, you can do it, but it's a lot of work. And I would not recommend him against uh, healers because it's just way more uh, options. You have more options uh, to deal with healers than this man thing. Uh, so overall, as I've said, I'm not really that impressed. He's not very suicide friendly, despite being uh, bleed immune. Uh, it looks like some of his utility requires you to spam specials. Uh, I could be wrong. Again, this is my first look, my initial impressions of this champion, and they're not good. They're not good at all. 
Um, I'm starting to listen to some of the folks that said this seemed like a rush job, uh, considering what they did with previous ones, Black Widow, Clairvoyant, Warlock. Um, he does not seem very finished. I don't know. Uh, he may, in three months, get a buff. Because from what I'm looking at here, he needs it. All right, so I don't know where I would even use him uh, over anyone else that could do anything similar. Armor breaks, I would use Medusa. I would not use him. Uh, if I needed to deal with healers, I wouldn't use him. I would use Captain America Infinity War, Void, Warlock. You know, you have a lot more options uh, to deal with them. So I really don't know where I would use him. Uh, anyway, uh, that's going to do it for the first look. Take care. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.